Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if this is your first occasion of visiting my YouTube channel, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment. In today's video, I want to show us how to add border to a Microsoft Word document. So here we have a page. So to add border to this very page, all we need to do is navigate to the design menu. Under design, we go to page borders. Look at the page background group, the last group at the right. So there we click on page borders. And then we can select the styles that we want to use the different styles here. So I think I should go with these three lines. And then there are different kinds of settings that you can apply. None will remove the page border box is going to you know add four borders there's one at the top bottom right and left and also we have the shadow is going to kind of drop a shadow we have three dimension so you can explore to see we have custom custom is simply when you can you know say okay i don't want a border of course, we should look at the preview. You can see what is happening on the preview. So if we change to a different border style, it should reflect on the preview. And then um, the next thing that I'm going to do is going to effect that. So if I toggle now, we will see that it's no longer using the old border style. So with this custom, you can add or remove. So if I say I need border top and bottom. So this is all I need to do. I can just check and and that is custom settings so another thing is the color the color of their border you can say okay i need purple color for my border but before that can work you need to you know affect it so you can just toggle um you know the border that you want maybe the top or bottom so that it will reflect the color like i just did if you change the color to something else, you equally have to come toggle it. So that is it. And then we have the width of the border. So how wide do you want your border to be? Okay, I want mine to be, uh, let me check this, uh, six points. And then um, that should be it. But before it works, I have to toggle, like I said earlier, so that it will increase. You can see the one at the bottom is six, so it's bigger than the one at the top. And then you want to add any artistic effect to your stuff. Um, so if you want to add any art, you just come here and, and check it. And it's going to apply to it. So if you want custom, all you need to do is just come and check some pattern. So I don't want to use add. So let me go ahead to pick one of these borders. And then choose a color. Let me give it this color and go ahead to choose it again. Or maybe choose something thicker. And then I need it at top and bottom. So if I wanted to apply to um all the edges i just have to check box like so and it will apply to all so let me uncheck then we have apply to we have something like whole document so if you say apply to whole document this is going to you know add border to the entire pages that you have in your document if you say this section it's going to add border to the entire pages that is in that section if you say this section face page alone is going to add um border to that section and the first page only so the right thing that you want to use is you know first page only but if you want to add border to everything on your document you have to go with whole document so let's go with this section first page only so i have my page border applied here so if i come to insert and then i do blank document we can see that it's not affecting this part but if i come here 
return back to the first page. I just need to click on the first page, return back to design. And then I say page borders, whole document. And I click, okay, it's going to affect the entire document, including, um, all the sections that we have. So what I want to do is go back to page border and I say this section, first page only like so, and we can see. So if I come here, then go to layout tab and then under the page setup group, I now come to break and create a new section. So I just created a new, um, let me create a new section on a new page. So, um, I want to create a new section on a new page and it is applied here since there's no content. So let me create a new page here. Um, I can do control enter. Um, or I can just get back and set and do blank page like so. So I want this to be this, the first two pages to be the first section and then the second, uh, the third page, um, is going to be the beginning of a new section. So here I have, um, insert a section break and start new section on the next page. So here we have a new section and of course we can see that the page border is automatically added here. So if we view our header, if we double click on, you know, the last part of this, um, document or the page, we can see that we have header section one, section one, and then we have section two starting from the page. So another way of doing this is another way of doing this is coming to, um, insert and then under insert we go to header so you can just go to header and then you do edit header once you do edit header it's going to come up you can do it in two ways same way and then you say edit footer and it's going to come to the footer so footer is the one down header is the one up so those are the ways you can do you easily double click at the bottom of the page so if i double click it's going to show that so you can see the different sections that we have so what if i don't want to apply you know border to this second section so all i need to do is just click on the first page of the section then go to design page borders and then i say this section i just have to click on this section check it like so because if I do the whole document, it's going to affect it on every other section. So I'm saying this section, and then I go to settings and say none. So I don't want a pitch border there. So this one of the ways that the pitch borders, there are you know, a couple of ways that you can do something here in Microsoft Word. Between set a page border, this is the right technique to use um, to insert a border in your document. Thank you so much for watching this video.